Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Ken's Tech Review. Now, being inspired from my last video, I decided to bring you guys another custom ROM for the Nexus 4 and other devices out there as well. So, without further ado, I'm going to get right into it. Now, this ROM is, is almost the same thing as the other ROMs, you know, customization. And I'm going to be looking at it in the same aspect as I did with the other ROM I did in my, my previous video, which is customization, battery life, and performance. Now, customization is similar to the Chroma um, ROM I did my previous video, which I'm going to probably put in, in the end screen of this video, so you guys can go and watch that if you guys are interested in, in more custom ROMs and stuff for your phone. And yeah, so getting to, to this one, uh, see if you guys are looking at the screen, you know, first off, you'll see I have no navigation bar, which brings my first thing is called Slim Pie. Um, so it's a lot of third party apps have tried to remake this pie or maybe have it as a third party add on before having to have an install a new OS on it. But I found that those are a bit clunky to use, and I prefer to have the, it built into the OS, which it moves a lot more smoother than having it as a third party app, which have to get root access and all that stuff to try to get you know. And even if you do get it, do something you can't remove your navigation bar because that's not part of your OS, so you have to have your navigation bar plus the same pie, the same pie there so it's it's kind of not really worth it to me so i uh, remove the navigation bar which I, you can see I, I can do in this um raw and with that i can easily navigate between you know the using the slim the slim pie which is is just like a navigation bar it has you know like a, a navigation tab it has um you can use a search bar, you can take a screenshot, you can set all these stuff up, of course. So it's not it's like preset, you can't change them. So you go in the buttons here, you can move around the home button, move around the recent button, you know, so it could be the distance inside the middle, however you want it. And then you also have another layer. So the other layer, you can also change the other layer and stuff, so you can set what you want to do when, you know, different stuff. So I have like, also you can set like long presses, which you see like, I just did that just now holding down um, the back button can't meant to kill the app or holding down the recent button to open my most recent app. So when it turns red, you know that's that's on the long press. So that's pretty cool. And you can set also like um applications like custom applications or you have your phone or default applications you want to jump into quick. If you're like me a uh, heavy WhatsApp user you're gonna easily get to jump into app by see half here the browser set up and I can just jump into the browser easy without any effort at all. Just click that on the side on the navigation bar and it's there. So that's pretty cool guys. And if you guys like you know that sort of stuff be sure to leave a comment below what you guys think about that and on to slim recents now slim recents gives a whole new different view of how you view your recent tab and in this it shows you more information than a regular well i won't say more but it shows you important information you should say because you know the regular recent tabs will show you all the windows in the same size you know what's showing on them and stuff like that but here i can i can open or close whatever i'm, I'm actually using or actually want to see or hide so that's pretty cool like I actually go through here scroll through the different apps on the side here and it shows in a little more organized fashion I, I should say and you can actually choose how much you want to show there or they set my buttons um how much you want to show there or or what you prefer to show there and stuff or you can, I, I have my have my set to only show running apps so if you guys you know think that that's cool you want to just show the right you can change the size of it you could change the background of it you know all this you could do with customizing into it and the rom and that's what i really like about these these other roms that you can actually go into more customization change how the rom looks so when you bought somebody with another the same phone as you i think i said this before in another video that your phone is going to stand out and that's what i'm really going for you can change the size of it as i show you guys change the size of it uh, i'll put it smaller bigger and all oh, that's pretty cool and on to the next one one key this video is short sweet it's for you guys so next next point is battery life now battery life is something that on my nexus 4 is an old phone it's not really up to par with certain devices but this picture right here though guys from 6 a.m to about 6 p.m that's battery life on this phone that this is when i first installed the rom and I think that this battery on this phone is kind of bipolar because some days I did get a screenshot done because my phone would blank out before I get to charge or anything. So, but some days I will I will wake up like 
6 o'clock again, I'm probably going to phone at 6 o'clock in the morning. And by 12 o'clock, my phone will be like dead, like actually I'm not coming on, not responding to me. And I, I, I on days like these, like, I actually appreciate the battery life more than days where like, like that, where I can't use my phone at all. And it's like, 12, like 12 o'clock midday that I, I'm out of battery. So yeah, so is in and out, I guess it depends on how you use your phone, how you at the brightness level, you know, uh, how often you check apps, how often you, how often you open apps. That sort of stuff is really matters a lot when it comes to these OS's. But for now, I will I will still give it a pass. But I, I can't believe the battery on my phone is pretty old. So to get this much battery life from a, from a, a ROM like this, I will take it in a heartbeat. Okay, so the next one is performance. And just like in my other video, I'm going to go in um, my browser. I'm going to uh, search for The Verge. Uh, and see how fast it's like loads. I mean, again, it might is like internet speed, but you know, see how fast it loads. See how the bar run up there, and then a stick, a pause, and I believe that this is longer than the Chroma or the Chroma browser. There. Oh, Chroma, across the room I did in my previous video, but it's still not bad. Still not, you know, too shabby. Not too shabby, you know, and I can still so go around and browse along a few stuff you know a little lag there here and there no checkerboard in though so i mean that's kind of good but still kind of sticks in between but you know if you guys want to try this rom you know it's the the original slim site got hacked and this is just an update video from my previous video that i did on my samsung galaxy tab 2 where he had um the slim cat and this is slim lp which stands for slim lollipop of course so yeah if you guys want to check out this check out this this, this rom i'll, I'll rate it about a 7 out of 10 promise promise it's not really on par with the other one i did the chroma but it's still pretty good and still get a good set of customizations still get a good buy light depends on how you use your phone and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Now, if you like the video, in the comment down below what you guys want to see next. I may go on to San Jamal if I don't get any comments on my video. So, look out for San Jamal 12. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Purchase your tracks today. Thank you.